Hey, what's up, everybody? Third time will be the charm, because for some reason, as I do this video, it just all of a sudden stops for no apparent reason, and uh, I'm going to make sure I keep doing this until I get this information out. So hopefully it will happen this time. All right, guys, I want to talk about false flag information and how the government either creates situations or uses situations to create an agenda or to distract people. So let's just put this to rest. If you don't believe in these things, it doesn't mean you are right, just like it doesn't mean I'm right. But I would rather take the chance of talking about things than to just ignore them and let situation time and time again happen. And we all seem to have very short memories. So let's let's go over just a few of the recent ones. Let's start back to the um, Vietnam War. Now, we have the Gulf of Tonkin incident. That is when one of our U.S. ships was supposedly attacked by the Vietnamese, which got us into the Vietnam War. It's actually been uh, a false flag attack that actually never happened. And as a matter of fact, the government actually has admitted that it never happened. All right, let's move a little forward. Let's, let's go to 9-11. Now, whether it was done by our government, allowed to be done from our government, or it was actually done by a couple of box-cutting terrorists that lived in caves and changed the world forever, we'll never really know. But here's the thing. It, they, the government took advantage of that situation and all those deaths and created all this fear. So it justified them creating first the Patriot Act, which creates the ability for our government to spy on us at any given time, taking away our privacy and our right, um, our rights to privacy. They can search your emails. They can listen on your phone conversations. They can do all these wonderful things. Read your emails. Any pictures you've ever posted on Facebook or on any kind of website, guess what? They have. So from there, we have things like the TSA. and We all know what those people are doing to people at the airports. Then ultimately, they created the National Defense Authorization Act, which basically gives the president uh, the ability to call any person, American or foreign, or foreign a terrorist, and without the ability of using habeas corpus, which is our right to a fair trial, they are able, with using the military, to take you away and imprison you indefinitely or have you executed. And that wouldn't have been possible if things like the National Defense, I'm sorry, if the Patriot Act wasn't created and the 9-11 event did not happen. So these things are not basically about whether it was done by the government or not. If it has been done by the government, they should be punished. But even if they didn't, they use these agendas. Okay, let's move even further uh, down the line. Remember when Obama was talking, or people were accusing Obama, Obama of not being an American citizen, and they were talking about the birthers? Gotta love how the media kind of labels people to make them seem crazy. But all of a sudden, after two years of people like Donald Trump and others saying, hey, where is your birth certificate? If you have nothing to hide, show us. And then all of a sudden, he comes out after about two years of this with a birth certificate that professionals say is so forged, it's not even funny how bad it was done. The next day, all of a sudden, they announce Osama bin Laden has been found and killed. All of a sudden, Obama's a hero. Nobody talks about the birth certificate anymore. All right. Now, let's move closer. Let's look at the Batman shooting in Aurora, uh, the Batman at the movie theater, and the Sandy Hook shooting. Now... Whether these were lone gunmen, or it was inspired by the government, or allowed by the government, we'll never really know unless we find out the truth. But here's some of the problems about, like, for example, Sandy Hook. If you watch the original footage from all the media from the live events on when it was happening, you will see that they all talked about the fact that Adam Lanza was found dead because he shot himself, and he had nothing but handguns in his possession. And the supposed dreaded assault rifle that people like Pierce Morgan and others in the mainstream media talk about needing to be banned and controlled was found in his car. So this is why so many people have so many different doubts and problems with things like Sandy Hook. But let's just assume that it was one crazed person. All of a sudden, the government is now talking about assault rifles and either banning them or registering them or restricting the amount of bullets. Now, since Adam Lanza was found with only handguns and had an assault rifle in the car, why wouldn't they be talking about banning handguns? Why is it all of a sudden they have this mass agenda with assault rifles? 
because they either created the problem or took advantage of the problem just so they can justify the fact that they're trying to take away your guns, which basically renders the people f defenseless. It increases crime because criminals don't obey the law. I hate to tell people. I was one of those people that didn't believe in guns, that didn't believe in all this stuff, until all of a sudden I realized what the real purpose of the Second Amendment was. It's for people like us to be able to defend themselves against anyone tyrannical, including a government. And if you don't think governments can go tyrannical, well, then you've never studied history. So let's get into this whole thing about my last video about potential false flag attack around or near the Super Bowl on February 3rd. Now, do I know what's going to happen? Absolutely not. Do I want it to happen? Absolutely not. But let me put it in the perspective of why the government would want to have some kind of terrorist attack around the sinkhole in Louisiana, which is filled with methane gas and oil and all these other toxic chemicals, and it's sitting on a fault line, which if all of a sudden somebody mistake, miraculously attacked it and it blew up, it would create such a fault line explosion that there could potentially be a cracking open of the Madrid fault line, which goes all the way from the Gulf of Mexico to the Great Lakes, literally splitting the country in two. Now, some people will always say, and I've seen this on my Facebook when I talk about this stuff, they say things like, well, why would the government do something like that? Well, what would be something we need to be distracted from? Anyone notice the economy? Anyone notice that the dollar is starting to lose its value? Anybody notice they're borrowing money like there's no tomorrow and they're trying to get rid of the debt ceiling? And the, the people, if you listen to interview after interview, not on mainstream media because they don't talk about this stuff. They pretend everything's wonderful. But the alternative media, all these interviews of people that are very smart and are very wealthy people are all talking about the same thing, how there could be a potential collapse of the dollar or financial problems anywhere from sometime during 2013 up till 2014. Well, think about it from the government's perspective when you know the enemy. What better distraction would there be than a humongous explosion that opened up a fault line killing excuse me, God knows how many people, and splitting the country in two because the fault line opened up, and blaming it on some terrorist, how many people would be talking about all the money that's being stolen from them, and the fact that the government can only print so much money before they're not allowed anymore, and the rest of the world finally calls them on, you know, what's going on, and all of a sudden interest rates have to skyrocket up, and then no one can borrow money anymore, and all of a sudden we have a collapse. Ever stop and think about that as an interesting way to create a distraction? It's like a magician. When a magician is doing a trick, they want you to look here, but what they're doing is over here. It's all about mirrors. So whether you believe in these things or not is fine. What I talk about is it's our responsibility as citizens to be able to talk about these things and not live in fear. Because fear equals control. And it's all about cre them creating a problem or taking advantage of a problem, getting people to react, and then coming up with a solution. God knows what that is. I hope I'm wrong, but you know what? I'm not afraid to talk about it. And if I'm going to be led away as some terrorist, which is not going to happen because I'm an American patriot who cares about and loves this country, then I want to make sure I was taken away for doing the right thing. Because you all think that if you do nothing out there, you'll be safe. Well, let's put it to you this way. How much better have things gotten since you were a child up until whatever age you're at now? Has it gotten better? That's what happens when we do nothing. Let's take responsibility. All right, guys, I'm ending this before it cuts off again. Obviously, third time is the charm. Peace.